Hello everyone, if you've run into a problem updating your iPhone and it locked up for some particular reason, we'll show you how to force it into the restore mode and restore it on the Windows operating system. What you're not going to do is use iTunes more than likely, Windows 10 and later, iTunes is no longer being fully supported by the iPhone. Instead, what you're going to do is use the Apple Devices Preview. Here is the description of Apple Devices. And interesting, once installed, iTunes will no longer open. So if for some reason you need iTunes, you don't want to download the Apple Devices software. It works on Windows 10 19.04.5 or higher. Once you've downloaded that software and you've installed it, you come down here to the Start button, run Apple Devices software, plug in your iPhone and it should recognize the iPhone right away. And in our particular situation, we could not update this iPhone 13 because we had installed the 17.3 beta. So we went over here and we said check for updates and it would not update the iPhone to the operational 17.3 because Apple in its infinite wisdom labeled them both the same 17.3 and this software could not make a distinction between the two. So we clicked over here on restore iPhone and find my iPhone must be turned off. So we said, okay, come over here to try to turn it off, drill into it, turned it off and it immediately turned back on. So to force it into the restore mode, what you do is you press the volume up button once real quick and the volume down button real quick. And then this is key. You press and hold the power button. You'll get this screen and keep holding it. You'll get the Apple logo, keep holding it, and eventually you'll get to the restore screen and you'll be able to use this software to restore your device. Next, we'll plug in the iPhone and walk through that restore process. Show you that in the next step. The phone in the restore mode as we described earlier in the video, and we're going to click update here to get the phone to update. Down at the bottom, you can see it's extracting software. It's about 50 seconds for this, but it actually took about 15, 20 minutes. You can see the progress on the right over here, updating the firmware, verifying the software. Phone has been updated, now it's restarting. Click OK. Enter the phone. And now it's acknowledging the phone. I'm gonna check for updates one more time before we go in and see if this fixed the phone's problem. Check for updates. Yep, it's updated. Go in here and find out if it fixed the internet problem. Call up YouTube. And all right, now we have internet back on the phone. So the 17.3 beta that messed up the phone has now been restored to the operational iOS 17.3. That's it for today. Conquered that stubborn update, did you? Don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe for iPhone troubleshooting tips to minimize your tech stress. Share your own iPhone update experiences. We love hearing from you. Join the community in the comments below.